good morning everybody welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me today we are going to be switching binders it is a little bit early for this i'm filming this video wednesday january 24th but because of the way the weeks work out um, this video is posting i believe it's for friday friday or saturday now i can't remember but i'm filming it so i can get a head start on things and um, I think the week after the middle of the week works out to be like tomorrow if I'm filming my plan with me it's going to be like one of those hybrid weeks part January part February so I was like well there's going to be four days of February and three days of January so I'm going to do my setup early because I'm I'm getting tired of blue I didn't think I would say that but I am I actually want to go into my pink binder <laughs> so if you all don't know I'm moving from my um Franklin Classic um, Planner Love Gingham Gardens binder into my Pale Pink Classic Anna binder. And uh, I have, so, and, and this is something I usually don't even say because I just kind of expect that you guys know this, but maybe you don't. I do switch out all my rings for 1.5 inch. The Anna binders come with 1.25. So these are already, um, have been switched out. They're 1.5 inch silver rings and um, that's what we're going to work with today. So um, as per usual, I usually do this switch over first. You can see this binder is like so full that I, it doesn't even like, it, it doesn't want to shut. Um, so I think this binder isn't going to be as full because I don't have as much, as many inserts. I don't think like inserts, as many dashboards is what I meant. And I do have a bunch of decorative items here. I will switch my pen first. So this is my blue pen that I've been using in my current um, binder setup. And it's the same pen. So all I do is I switch the barrel. I switch the barrel out. And this is my, uh, my pink one. This one did support breast cancer when I bought it. Okay, so there we go. And it's not the exact match, but it's okay. It matches the uh, sparkly edger that I have on there. I've been doing that lately. I'm really liking that edger thing. Okay, so I'm just gonna go out a little bit and then we're gonna quickly do this switch over. So I have a lot of documents actually. Lot of documents that I've been moving back and forth. I'm going to have to go through these and see. Pretty sure I need to keep everything. Um, let's just keep these aside for now because yeah, there's a lot there and it's kind of convoluted in my planner. I'm also going to pull these out. I had these in here for sticker purposes because I was going to use, um, instead of using Planner Anonymous, I was going to use these ones. These are all from Simply Gilded. The problem with Simply Gilded is that they're great for decoration like for these it's no problem but these ones also like Christian design stickers they require a different type of pen to write on them so i do have this pen here it is the pentel calm pen 0.7 so i might use this on there um we'll see how that goes it, it, i don't like how i use two different color inks but um we'll see okay so i will have to switch out my dividers so this might be a little interesting because my other binder is so full and I don't usually like organize as I go because we're usually in a rush when I'm doing this and I don't want to like waste time on my plan with me. So I'll set those things aside. I'll try to keep the rings open so it doesn't have all the clicking noise. Oops. And we need to have my dashboard, the thing that I'm going to be using at the front. I think I'm going to keep that one at the front. I do have some really pretty dashboards in here today. Like I'm obsessed with some of these pink ones. Okay, so goals is a big chunk. And there we go. So instead of, um, for my brain dump, instead of an inbox, I actually had just this overview thing, but I'm going to keep the overview because I have all of my sticky notes on there. And I'm going to switch some sticky notes, I think, because I don't want green ones. So this is my to-do. Oh, that needs to go in front, maybe. Okay, we'll come back to the sticky notes after I'm done switching everything over. Inbox. 
so far I only have the one sheet in here. Now it's my schedule. And I do, of course, have my future log, which is very important. And then I've got my monthly. I don't know if I'll be using this for... Uh, I'll keep them on there for now, and we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so I haven't really worried about these either yet. I've put them all in here. I am in love with this combination right here. I love that. Okay. So I've got my monthly. Now I'm going to have to keep January in here for a minute. Because we're not done with January yet. And then we can also do a review too. Okay, and then we have February. So I'm still don't know if I'm going to be using, this is my weeks, I don't know if I'm going to be using the, this one here, this one actually matches really well because it's pink, but it's got the lines, but then this one lets me decorate more, but I think I'll glue that one together and I'll use the, um, her point of view because I really like that. Um, and I always put the goals on front, so we'll do that. And then we have the weekly. Okay, and today is Wednesday, so I'm still going to have to keep the old weekly in there too. Even though it's blue. But I mean, there is some pink. <laughs> okay, and then go in the new weeklies. Then I've got the dailies. So of course, we're going to take out all of the old dailies. And what I do here is I will go back through. So I'm going to keep Wednesday. I will go back through and just look at all of the information from the monthly, the weeklies, and the dailies, and see if there's any information that I can pull into my reference section of my planner, because I've been finding that if there is any important information on the index or on the dailies that I need to keep moving forward, I need to keep that in there. So I will go back after the plan with me is done and just check for reference information. Okay, so we'll put the rest of the dailies and then we'll pull the February dailies. Oh. Okay, so for some reason I had January. I must have thought I was pulling January in here, but I'm not. So I have to get February. I don't know why I did that. That's too bad too because January was pink. <laughs> Wasn't it? Oh yeah, I'll have to... Oh, what did I do? I do have January in there, don't I? Yeah. Well, that's a shame. It was pink and this one's going to be blue. So now I don't really know if I want to use it. The only thing nice about these is that they do variegate so it's like different color for every day so I like that but yeah I don't think I want it if it's blue. So what we're going to do is I guess I will be using the Teresa Collins. I really like that though. So nice and neat. That's okay. Okay, so put in February. Oops, that was the wrong. <laughs> so 
So what I'm going to do is pull the uh, the weekly for February and put that in here just so I can mark my month because that usually lets me pull it over easier that way. I'll show you what I mean when I get there. Okay, so daily, right after the daily, what did I do? February and February. Okay, we'll go back to the month after. All right. And then I've got all of these dashboards back here, and then I've got some notes. So these can just come up for now. Okay, so then I have some reminders, and I think, I think my financial ones were in here. So I've got annual, seasonal, and quarterly. These, again, were from Jane's Agenda. So put those in behind that. And then the next tab we have is Home. So I think my Home tab has grown a little bit. It's uh, kind of bulking up my planner a bit, but kind of out of necessity. The first one is Routines and Chores, but I also have, like, food and stuff in this one like groceries and grocery lists. Okay, and this is what was doing it. So it was like this big project list that I was doing, uh, organizing master task list right here. So everything that's on this list is like a task list that I'll probably end up coming back to and just doing like every, every quarter or something. And then I've got a whole bunch of other goodies in here. Okay, and then the next section is sinking funds. So here as well, I had this like financial wellness and then after me affirmations of wealth. I guess I don't really need those because I do everything in my budget book, so I really don't need those. The only thing I, I add in here, and the reason why I added in here is because I like to keep track of my sinking funds like on a kind of spreadsheet but you know I'm a paper planner so instead of a spreadsheet I put it in the planner. Okay the next one is school and I'm pretty sure I don't have the new inserts for February so I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna have to print those. I have the first week so oh and then I have a, a one here. Okay so Right now we're looking at the 24th, so I'll just put those in. We'll just have to get a couple of fresh ones. Next tab is personal. This is my side tab. And then following that, um, I've got health. This health is one of the first sections after that. And then I've got a whole bunch of health tracking stuff. I'm wondering if I should pull some of this stuff out. I'll come back to this because I'm not going to go through that stuff with you right now. Okay, the next one is reading. All that stuff stays. <laughs> Projects, the last tab, my binder is filling up. This is where, I think this is where I have my reference section. But I have quite a bit of note paper in here. And then I've got my clear page lifter. So I have one in here too, but I'll just move this one over. 
And then I keep my budget book in the back. So I'll pull out these. These are new other inserts I was potentially going to use if I needed to. Those on, are from Planners Anonymous, but that's fine. And then I'm just going to pull out the stickers that were in the back of my old binder. And anything else I want to keep, I'm going to keep my ruler and it's all done. So I'm going to put this binder aside. And I'm just going to put my ruler back here. And that's it. Okay, so it's already really, really full, guys. Like super full. Um, the one thing I had to add back in here was my monthly. So I'm going to take out this. Um, well, I have to leave that in there. Okay, I'll put this at the back of January because I will be using that. And then I'm going to go into my weeklies, my Teresa Collins, and pull out the February tab. And I'll be putting that in front of um, my monthly so I know where it's at. And I guess I really only have to do that until January is gone because then I'll know. Okay. Um... I'm going to put my business card in the front pocket and I'm just going to add those tidbits back that I had taken out. So I've got my pink pen, which I'll be using right away here anyway, my calm pen, which I'll need. Oops, that's not my calm pen, is it? Yeah, it is. My calm pen, which I'll be needing, and then I also have a pink highlighter. Okay, so I ordered these a while back and I found another color of pink, and this is one I don't have. So there are three different colors of light pink. I just want to show you guys all of the colors. Okay, so these are all zebra mild liners, but they are all three different colors. And yeah, I don't know which color this is because it says maybe medium deep pink. I don't know. And this is medium bright pink. It doesn't make sense. This is medium pink. They don't make any sense. This is like the most highlightery of the pinks. This is the one that came in the very first like highlightery pack. Um, and then this is the next one. This is a pale pink. And this is like really pretty. But this one is more of a pale muted pink. So let me just show you. Here, I'll go on... January maybe here. I'll go on the back of January. No, I won't. I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> here, I'll go on one of the dailies. So I'll go on today. Okay, so this is the highlighter pink, which you can tell is like definitely highlightery color. And then this is the light pink, which usually goes the best with this planner, I think. And then this is the dark pink that I was thinking would go better, but I'm not sure. I think it actually does go better. So both those, like the light pink and the dark pink, they look so pretty together. So I might use both of those. I think those are really, really pretty. So maybe I'll put both of them in there if it fits. Might not fit. Okay, and then we need to add a few dashboards. So here is where I'm afraid that I'm going to run out of room. But I'll just be adding one dashboard to each tab. So hopefully, I don't know, I've got a lot of stuff in here. I might have to take out some note paper at the back. Okay, so for my goals, um, this part I'm just going to quickly blow through and then I'll show you guys what it looks like at the end if I do a flip. Okay, guys, so I think that's it for... I'm adding in all of the goodies. So I'm just going to put all of this stuff aside that I won't be using. Oh, 
I don't want to take it too far. I don't need to add like everything decorative. I like it to be pretty, but I don't need to go overboard. Okay, there we go. Um, so let's pull out my pass card for the month and we're going to review goals. So luckily we can still do that because I have that in here. So we'll go to the goal section and then we'll look at the monthly goals as well. So we're doing goals. We did really, really good this time. I did nothing in the basement um, except for the top shelf of my desk. I did my desk space refresh. So I will be, I just have to dust the top so it's not that hard. So I'll do that today. And I only got, I'm on num book number three. So I did not meet my goal for books. I do have one more week, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get through six books or seven books in one week. Okay, and then we're doing the monthly setup now. So all of these goals, I, I, you know, everything is good. So I'm going to quickly write out, or let's quickly review the month goals, and then we'll come back and write out new goals for February. Okay, again, desk space refresh is good. Read nine books, have not done, but that's the only thing. So everything else was good. So what we'll do is we'll come back over to the goal section and quickly write this out. So all I know, I do have some appointments, so we'll put those on here as well. Okay, so I think, I think that's pretty much it. There are some things like I put a reminder in here um, for biz goals because there are some business goals that I'll be putting in my actual business planner. I don't think I actually filled that out yet and I'll take a look at that after. But um, yeah, for now, I think this is good. I did put some, um, some dates, so books. <laughs> It's going to continue adding up, and I don't think I'm going to get through 100 books for the year. Um, but yeah, I mean, one never knows. I do have quite a few small books I could read pretty quickly, so we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm just wondering. I'm just kind of going through my Cultivate What Matters goal planner just to see if there's anything else that I want to add here. Um... One of my financial goals, I'm going to see my consumer proposal payment on the 29th. And actually, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, It is going to melt here this week, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to do dog poop pickup. I'll put that on here. I don't want to be stuck doing it, um, like, you know, all in spring. And I also want to do a water challenge. I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but I'm going to actually like try drinking th like minimum three bottles of water a day 
for sure. Like I want to do a challenge. So I'll put that on here. Okay. So that's it for that. Um, I should also do vitamin D. So I'll put that on here as well. Okay. So we'll go to the February. I'm just going to pull the calendar, the master task, and the goals because this is like the next step here. So I'll take that and I'm just going to write down the most important things here. Okay, so we filled out that. I filled out the whole sheet. Um, I actually filled out the way it was meant to be used. So I put all of my little goals and my tasks here. So I included tasks as well, um, but we'll, you know, keep transferring that. The more I write it, the more I remember these things. So this is um, just kind of reiteration. And then I put birthdays and then weekly priorities. So anything important that's coming up in that month, this is kind of like an overview. I just glance at it and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, this week I've got this appointment or this week I've got this. So okay so next we will do the monthly calendar and i don't know if i have any decorative things from here so i'll see because i like to keep it along the same like line as the same color scheme and none of these decorative stickers are really that pink so i'm just going to check my other books and I'll, I'll probably use some washi here so this washi actually reminds me of one of my dashboards and it's like a rose gold flower on it like a peony but it's on this really pretty pink so I think I'll use some of this Oops. So it doesn't really matter what you use. I usually use a ruler, but I can use a washi card too. Just stay till the moonlight Or would you follow me Or would you let it be If I leave tonight We could do this right We'll find the remedy Or would you stay with me now 
Okay guys, so I think I have stickered as much as I can in my monthly. Um, I always ensure that I have like my um, bill paying, my garbage days, and my grocery shopping just so I don't forget because those are things that I schedule so I remind myself because there have been times I've forgotten. Um, so I have all the important dates and now I need to move on to the action items. So I believe I will be putting um, business tasks on this side <clears throat> because it does help me remember. And I am going to add some washi to this page again as well. Right here. I know that I told you were over. I swear that I'm sober. Just listen, I miss you. And I know that I said all these things, but now when you're with her, I can see that, that you miss me. Oh, just stay. I actually just wrote this blog. It's not going to be posting for a while, but I, I have this random idea about um, doing a bullet journal again. And and my blog was actually on um, writing, doing a bullet journal for, um, like, do I miss bullet journaling? And the answer, the short answer is yes, I do. But the the convoluted answer is that I do, but I don't have time. And that's like the story of my life. I never have time for anything. And I don't know why, but I have this intense urge to do a bullet journal again, even if it's not like decorative, like how I used to make them. And I've had this urge. It's been like an ongoing urge for the last like two years that I've wanted to do it again. And I miss it so much. And part of me is like, if I was to do that, I would have to basically drop my planner and like just do bullet journal stuff but it takes so long like it's not an easy process it's not like like there's a lot of planning that goes into it because you want your like not that i'm a perfectionist but you want your spreads and like kind of somewhat of an order and i don't think i would do a bullet journal for home stuff again and even for business it just seems so much like there's i don't know there's there's so much to to organize and like to do so I don't even know if that would be um, a wise idea even to like think about it because I'm like oh yeah I really miss it and missing it is one thing but then I was like well I guess I could get rid of like like it could be my health tracker right because um, like that was an idea that I had at one time too is I could just use it for health but then I ended up putting a health section in my planner but at the same time, like if you look at my planner, it's absolutely ridiculous. Like I have, like it, it wouldn't even fit. Like, and then, you know, like you get kind of bombarded with the idea of like, everyone's like, yeah, you should have everything in one planner. There's no way I'd be able to include all of my work stuff in one planner. Like ideally, one would think that you could put all of your work stuff on the calendar, right? And I don't think I would have room. I honestly don't because um like to put all of my youtube videos and stuff like like i mean my monthly calendar i'll show you what that looks like quick um if i can find it 
So like, although this looks small and although I could probably make it small, there's just a lot that goes on. And then I have like big plans for operating stuff. And I just don't want to have, I wouldn't be able to have, like I could probably have all of my work stuff on my schedule, but then where would I put the extra work stuff, right? It would have to be in a bullet journal still and it would still be a separate planner. So I don't know. I know it seemed so simple when Amanda Rachel Lee did her setups because she was using hers for business. And it just seemed so simple and elegant when she did it. And I don't know how she did it because I feel like now like my life is not getting out of control because I'm very well organized and very well planned. But I just, I don't know how I would go about organizing everything like in a, one book, you know, like in one planner. And I, part of me wishes that I could like squeeze everything and not have so much in here. Like, is it necessary? I don't know. Like, I mean, I could maybe have, I could go down, like, not now because I already have all my inserts, but I mean, I could use a day on one page, but I like, even though I don't use the note page every day, I like having access to it, if that makes sense. I like being able to have it if I need it. And so, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do there, but um, anyway, we're going to do a quick flip and uh, I don't know if I'm going to say where everything came from. I guess I can kind of give an overview a little bit. I won't go through all of the, the tidbits inside each section because I've done that in the past, but the decorative elements I will. So um, I believe this came from the Honeybee shop, these little decorative cards. This was from Erin Condren. I made this myself, picture of my sons and I my business card ollie clip and this came from heather b co from a freebie um this pentel com pen came from jane's agenda i purchased the highlighters on amazon this was an acetate from amazon and i added the glitter edger from the planner society this was from heather b co and i laminated it it is a vellum this the dividers are all from dividers or us i don't know if she's up yet i know she had a surgery and her website was not up the last time I checked. Uh, this is Jane's Agenda cardstock. These are Jane's Agenda goals. Um, so are these, the 90 day goals. This is the intro pack from Franklin Covey. Some compass cards from Franklin. Okay, this was, I believe this was a vellum I purchased from Michaels and I just cut it down to size and laminated it myself. These sticky notes were from Simply Gilded. These are from Cloth and Paper. The overview is from Cloth and Paper. This to do, um, it's actually a brain dump. So you're meant to put like all of your things that you have in your head here, and then you organize it by now, soon, later, and if time. That's from Fancy Plants Co. Inbox thing is from Jane's Agenda. Jane's Agenda inbox insert. This was um, from the honeybee shop and I laminated it. This is the Teresa Collins weekly pack. It's the future log. These cards are from the honeybee shop and the pocket is from cloth and paper. This is from Heather B. Co. This set here, I, well, I glued this one together. It's the same as the, um, the, the February one, but it's from the Teresa Collins. This is the leadership planner for January there. This is from the weekly pack from Teresa Collins Franklin Covey collab. Again, uh, Teresa Collins Franklin Covey. This is from Heather B. Co. Teresa Collins Franklin Covey. And now this, I believe this is from the Honeybee shop. And this is um, a vellum I purchased from Michaels a long time ago. And it's kind of fading, so it's... it's uh, not really, you can't really, it's hard to tell, to see it. Okay, so these were the leadership inserts, the onto page I used for January. I'm using the her point of view for um, oh, my notes in here. Her point of view for February, which I love. The only thing is it doesn't give me a lot of room, but I kind of did that on purpose because I have a tendency to overdo stuff. If I do run out of room, I'm just planning on putting it on this side here. Okay, these are annual reminders, seasonal reminders, and quarterly reminders from Jane's Agenda. Heather B. Co. 
Michael's, and then all of my inserts for home. This is again from Michael's. Graph paper from Franklin Covey. This is from Planners Anonymous from Sweet Art. Sweet Art from, again, Planners Anonymous. This is from Heather B. Co. The reading lists are all from Jane's Agenda. And this is from the Honey Bee Shop Planners Anonymous Sweet Art and some random note paper. So in here, I'm just wondering if I should keep all of this or get rid of some of it. Um, I just see that I have a lot and it's really taking up the room in my planner. So I think I'm gonna keep a couple of project inserts. But I am gonna get rid of a few because this is just too much and I don't use it from week to week. And I don't have that many projects to tackle. So I'll keep these in there. And the note paper, I had another note paper here from her point of view. So I'm put that in there. And then at the back, I have a page finder and I am going to keep my budget book back here. And I will decorate, I don't know yet what I'm going to do. I might use these for the weekly because I just don't know how well that my, my calm pen is going to write on these. I would have to test it out and I don't want to ruin any of the stickers. I'll use one of the green ones because I can't imagine myself using this pukey green color. So <laughs> I'll use this. Yeah, that's actually not bad. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably use these for the week. And if I have to supplement with um, any of the Planners Anonymous, I can. I mean, it's not like I don't have a lack of stickers. So I'll put these somewhere in my planner. Somewhere. I don't know where yet. Maybe right here. It is, it's already bulked up enough, but at least I have those on hand. And I think that is it for the setup. So I'm just going to put my monthly task card back. And um, you guys will see this on, I believe it's Saturday. Saturday, Friday or Saturday. I can't remember exactly which day. Whatever day it is, um, you guys can join me. Sit back, relax with, you know, your favorite beverage of choice or whatever you want to chill out with. And then tomorrow, for me, it's tomorrow, I will be filming the weekly. So um, that will be like the last few days of July, I can't talk, January right here and then the 1st of February. So we'll organize that, plan out the week, and we'll kind of go through how I usually do. And yeah, I'm just excited to be in this binder again. I miss this binder. There's something about a real leather binder that just, it's just really, really nice. Um, wow, it's full. Yeah, and, and this is a sturdy binder. Like it's you know, you feel like it's not going anywhere. And that's what I like about the Annas. I mean, the, the vintage auras are the same thing, but I really do appreciate this binder. It's so pretty. And I'm not a huge pink fan, as you guys know, but I, ugh, there's something about it. Every once in a while, I need a pink binder. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for supporting me by watching today's video. I really appreciate all of you. Um, again, any comments that you choose to leave me are greatly appreciated. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. So whether you leave comments, give the video a like, share the video with a friend, um, all of those things do help with the YouTube algorithm to get my video out there and to grow my channel because that is one of my main goals, of course, for, you know, well, 2024, but e every year. Of course, it's always a YouTuber's goal. So um, again, thank you for your support. I really value you and appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give the video a thumbs up. If you are new, I would love if you would consider subscribing. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below because I always love answering you guys. I love talking about stuff. And um, and yeah, click on the bell button because then you'll be notified whenever I upload new content. My days sometimes change when I upload these plan with me. It's like this one's early. Last month was a little bit late. So yeah, so thank you guys so much and I will see you guys tomorrow.
Bye, friends.